So you've never handled firearms before, not a problem. Today I'm going to show you two big mistakes that I see 3D modelers make whenever they're working with firearms. As you can see on my screen, we have an MP5, which is the classic OG SMG, also my personal favorite submachine gun. And I'm going to show you some good practices that you can use if you were going to make some modifications. Now, obviously, the most important rule is to treat them responsibly. Now, if you've ever been taught anything about firearm safety before, you know the golden rule is never point the barrel at something you do not intend to kill. This is true in real life. This is true in virtual life. This is true in all life. So when we're 3D modeling, we never want to be looking directly down the barrel of the gun. You should just avoid the front view entirely. If you want to see something in the front, just make everything transparent and use the back view. You see the same thing, but it's 100% safer. There is absolutely no reason to risk pointing the barrel at your face with the front view. So keep that in mind when you're 3D modeling. Another very important part of firearm safety is trigger discipline. Be careful not to touch the trigger unless you intend to fire that weapon. Now as a 3D modeler, we have a little bit more control over the weapon compared to its real life counterpart. But here's a trick that I like to do just to make sure we're as safe as possible. When I'm working with the insides of the gun, just to be safe, I will actually just remove the trigger. See, you can't accidentally pull the trigger if the trigger's not there. So those are the two mistakes I see 3D modelers make the most regarding gun safety. I hope this video was helpful, and if you join me next time, I will show you how to teabag your enemies respectfully. Hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.